Welcome everybody. Today we are going to talk about the tillers. But first, before we start with the tillers, for my website, I'm currently looking for all new writers. So if you like writing about games, it's mostly about um, random dice, random dice wars, Yu-Gi-Oh, and Summoners War. I know I had the topic uh, mobile games, I had that topic in the past as well. Writing game reviews about different games, um, maybe I'll do that more. If you want to like, you can do that as well. So uh, what it's in for you, you get a payment of fifty percent out of your own post. So if your post makes like five euros, then we check fifty fifty. I got two fifty, you got two fifty. That's the deal. With the, um, the how you call it, with the Google search things, you can separate the view by post. So that's how we could do it so okay let's go into the tier list so we got the august 2020 tier list so for wait oh, can i scroll up i need to create this away i think yeah okay so now we got the august 2022 tier list I said always 20 before 2022, of course, I meant. So we got, you already see all those, um, I think it's better like this than building up slowly. So we got a triple S, double S, S, A, B, C, D, F, and not rate. So no rate, so the no rate, let's start at the bottom. So those are the ones, uh, I, like the Guardian Dice, I just got it recently, so I can't really judge it. I don't see, I don't, never face it off in PvP. Then we got the Mafia Dice, I didn't know that dice, that dice even came. So I just saw the Mafia Dice, I was like, whoa, okay. We got a new dice. With random dice, was well, like, you, you, you just get in the new um, dices in the game. And many times you don't know there's new dice in the game. Then you got the Target Dice, they announced it, but um, yeah, Target Dice. So with F to S, you can already judge. F is bad and Triple S is very strong. So with the Cleanse Dice and the Switch Dice, both an F rate I don't really rate them because they are bad I the cleanse dice is to counter all these charming dice and chaos dice but I don't really see it really working so switch dice is not really need to play switch dice um you can play it maybe when you play with the guardian uh, with the uh, guardian come on I was still, with the um guardian or when you play uh with sl uh, star dice but there's no really need to play this which is useless you don't really need it. cannon dice buff the cannon dice but the cannon dice i don't really see it really to be a good dice it takes some time to charge but it's not that good we got curse dice curse dice they nerfed it i think this nerf was really huge for this dice i know you can three shot the slime dice but it is what it is but they made it up to five and it takes too long for this curse dice to be very effective in pvp they should change it back to three pits and maybe then the curse dice will go back to 80 or something shield dice is just tanky and slow oh, you got a better tanky like the slime dice then we got a c tier area we got the assassin dice assassin dice is a little bit sneaky but it's really uh, like a glass cannon it can be one shot easily charming dice i mean it's taking space of a dice i know it's Taking the opponent's dice to fight each against each other, but I don't really rate the charming dice that I flame dice tanky a little bit more DPS than the flame dice uh, than the shield dice, but mm, yeah, there are better dice out there. Then we got the uh, flash dice, flash dice floating decent, but only attacks floating. In PvP, is not the dice, in other criteria in the game, it can be more usable. Lightning dice, a buffing dice. It has some usage, that's why I put it in the city area, but not really that great. It makes the dice faster, that's it. Sand dice, also decent against range units, so they will come closer to the enemy. It's decent, but it's not really a dice you need to play. Now coming to the B tier stages. So we got the Chaos dice. Chaos dice is pretty decent, but I don't think it's really played in the current meta. It's decent, that's why I put it a little bit higher than C, so B tier area. Golem dice, I don't really rate it, but I see it has some usage. I play against few, most of the time I win, but one or twice I lost when I'm testing different decks. And I see, okay, the golem dice has a little bit of usage, so I put it in a B tier. Gravity, it's used to be, it should be the counter to Cowboy and all the floating, but I don't really see it 
I don't want, I can test it, uh, yeah, but I don't have really much tests and what it is strong, but I don't see it that much higher. Let my dice is good against all the ground units, so it sticks there also there for a while, but when you play against floating enemies, there are lots of things in this meta, playing lots of floating just with cowboy, slingshot, and have joker growth and something else, then the landmine is kind of useless. So. Mimic dice got kind of lost. I mean, Mimic dice used to be much, much better, but since Commander dice came out, um, the other dice, they don't really need to be summoned every turn, and the uh, SP system has changed. Since it's changed, it harmed the Mimic dice a lot. Mimic dice is still very decent. B tier is not that bad, but there are just more P dice in the game. Slime, um, slime. We, okay, so we have slime, but I'm talking about poison right now. Poison is good when you have long term battles i mean poison is very is decent is decent i could be a tier but i put a b tier i don't really see it much it could be a tier okay slam dice um yeah slam dice is yeah it's just a tank you can play it with cowboy dice you can play it with anything it could be a tier yeah but it's easy countered with the kuru meta with uh gear dice is strong Typhoon, Aorus, fast, fast, DPS, counter the slime dice. So I put it in B tier. Wind dice is very good because in the beginning it might be not that strong, but they will come in numbers. Those non legendaries just surprise me at all. They come in numbers. Then we got the rock dice. It's decent since they changed it. I think the last list I did talk about the rock dice, it didn't have the change. I know that my last list is June or May, so it's been two months at least. Um then we got the summoner dice. Summoner dice is decent and can still play in PvP since it summons every circulation two units. So once the summoner survives, uh, yeah, then they can summon more. And the uh, next summoner in the back will summon also more. So summoner maybe with Guardian can be decent, so it has some self-healing. Then we got the Meteor Dice. Meteor Dice can be good when you're fighting an opponent where you both are like equal strong, but the Meteor will do their sneaky attack in the back and sneak you to victory. Sub element is very good. Um, some players don't even play Growth, they try to win early on. Growth is like when you have like a little bit more time, then you go, uh, Growth over time is going to beat Sub element. But for the early runs, Sub element can dismantle your opponent quick because with sub element there's no waiting time but growth in in general is better than sub element but for sneaky victories sub element is the one to go to the ice dice very good come in numbers and freeze the opponent that's huge for seconds one two seconds is huge in the game so when a unit is freeze for 1.5 seconds it's a matter about life or death it's mostly they're going to die that unit, especially like solar freeze mid air, it's huge uh, against the units that are stronger with not with numbers with their um, quant quality. So, quant against quantity units, not that great, but against quality units that get stronger in HP stats, the ice size is very effective. Then we got the star ice, also very good when you have your star ice in the mark position, then it starts floating. And has some area attacks that's very strong. Lollipop, <clears throat> when it survives, it's going to suck in up to three enemies, I think. And it doesn't matter how much stats they have. So, and you want uh, this um, the effect of the lollipop, uh, the berserk go does not go to the berserk that you just turn into lollipops. So yeah, healing guys when they come in numbers, they are very dangerous. They can heal anything, heal themselves, and they are going to survive. So I think the healing dice is so much better than the guardian dice, in my opinion. Then we got the, I, I mean, the guardian dice is not a unit. So it's just there to have the, like, um, lightning dice. It's just a buff. But right now, I haven't put the guardian dice in the list. But I would, I don't think I would put it higher than healing dice. Maybe a, little, maybe a B tier, but I haven't tested it much. I just did one test and it didn't work well. Gun dice, very good. I played it in the cape mode and I played it in PvP with cover dice and it seems to be very decent. But it goes with the uh, 
gun by trying to get it to seven star for the sniper, but it's a lot of. But the rifle and the others are also very decent. Then we got electrolyzed, electrolyzed. This, this is what I was talking about with the sneakiness, with the uh, how you call it, with the sub element. When you play electric, electric, they just come with three units at the beginning. So at the beginning, three units that goes fast in, and then you have some units coming from um, uh, early on. Like works slow, and when your opponent starts up with four groves, and then okay, you can summon a little bit more, but you get jokers. Then <clears throat> that's how they sneak player play and just win by sneaky victory. Charge size, um, like last month is were very good. Now it has dropped a bit for the meta, but charge size is very good, so I put it in the higher A tier. And then we got beam dice, beam dice also very good, but it has kind of dropped a little bit, but it's still played a lot. Then we got the sacrifice, sacrifice dice, I play. A lot. I think it gives you additional SP and it's very good to just have some more SP booster. But with the knight in the game right now, it can kind of mess up. So I like to play the sacrifice dice in the gear dice deck. So this is the uh, till is about t gear season. Maybe I should call them instead of the month, I should call it with the season. Popcorn dice, very good. Has been good, even though the pop gun dice and slingshot dice got nerfed, they're still in the top as non living dire dice. It's kind of impressive. Then we got lightning dice. Lightning dice is like electric dice, but a little bit faster. Has some beam attack, like it's like the flash. And it's also very fast. It's like a tankier version of electric dice, and it comes only one unit. Then we got the uh, fire dice. Fire dice is also very strong. It's semi tanky and has the AoE attack and it comes in numbers. That's kind of impressive. Uh, and like I said, all the units that come with the normals are very dangerous. Then we got the Berserker Dice, can survive anything, and when they got to zero, they got for I think few seconds, I think three or two, one point something seconds in the Berserker Station where they can faster and destroy almost everything. Now we got to the double S area, we're almost done. Typhoon Dice, Typhoon Dice last season overtook everything. Till Cowboy Dice came out. Before it was all uh, Typhoon, then Cowboy dropped, and then it was all Cowboy. Mafia, I don't know what he was going to do. Maybe when people get him, it's going to be all Mafia. I don't know. Solar Dice. Solar Dice is very good. Uh, I underestimated in the last lesson, people were flaming about it. I mean, Solar, it's like now we got Joker Grove. It's easier to control the Solar. And uh, Solar, we can control it at 1 dot, at 4 dot, or at 7 or 9. Seven, I think seven or nine. I think it was seven. It's easier to control the solar, and we don't need uh, any uh, lunar like we needed in Summoner's War. Summoner's War. I mean, random dice defense. So it's e easy to control the solar, and when they go to like four, five, six dots, seven stars really rarely in this game. They are very dangerous, and they are going to not. They are not going to be alone. They have their air support like slingshot, or they can have be supported by cowboy. <laughs> Solar and Cowboy, this is dangerous. Then we got a Slingshot Dice. Slingshot Dice is like Pop Gun, but comes in numbers. And like I said, when units come in numbers, they are most likely going to be more dangerous. And they are fast, and they are floating. They are just simple, and but they are working since the beginning of the game. This dice has been working. Then we got Commando Dice. I think Commando Dice, uh, this is not a rating, but uh, like... Uh, like I said, uh, for left to right, I just put them on the same bracket. So I don't think that uh, Command Dice is really necessary better than Typhoon or Solar. Command Dice has been dropped a little bit. It's still very good, but people stop using it. But it's still a very good dice. I even stop using it. It's like a little bit kind of annoying because you have to always merge and you need SP. And with the SP nerf they did to generalize the SP, the Commando has also got uh, hurt by it. Then we got the Joker Dice. Joker Dice is a, it's a um, uh, versatility dice. It's depending only on growth. Without Joker on its own, is not that good. It needs the growth. That's why I put a double S, not triple S with growth. Because if you have only Joker and you don't have growth, Joker on its own, if you take it without the deck teammates, it's not that great. But because of growth, it's that high. And it can help with the solar, and can help with the commando, and it can help with the sacrifice, and it can help with the gear. So it has the, it's like, it helps your decks to be consistent. So I don't put it in 
A, B, or C, you still kind of need Joker to get higher rates, but you don't really necessarily need it. You can I saw many decks out there without Joker, and they still worked. But with the Joker, you have some kind of stability. Okay, then we got the gear dice. It's gear season, and I like playing gear. But gear has a big problem. If this guardian was not in the game, then it's going to be gear, gear, gear. The knight, like we are already know the knight. But sometimes the knights mess up, and it, you still have the full combination. And once you get like ten solars activated, uh, ten solars, ten gears activated, they have to. It's like a, they're looking red. It looks like the Berserk stage, and they're faster, stronger, and they can one shot the opponent's base. The, oh, when they get to the stage, and when they get to the stage, and with like five to ten, oh, not five to eight, uh, ten is the one, uh, five, at least five gears they can. And they have a little time, they are going to take down all the HP from the opponent till the Guardian comes out, and it's most likely the Knight. And if they don't have the Knight, they're most likely going to lose. So the Knight counters. The gear but for non-legendary the gear and it's not uh, if gear doesn't come in numbers it comes with strength if gear came in numbers gear would be broken if they did that in numbers then gear would be broken then we got the uh, growth dice triple s uh, no no commentation about it we don't need to, to discuss about gear why it's t s tier i know it takes some time to go to the next dot count but still it makes every deck in the game strong. Then we got, uh, except for the sneaky decks. Maybe I'll do some gameplays about the sneaky decks as well. Like in the random dice defense, I like to do videos about assassin decks. Now, cover dice, cover dice is very strong. Even it got so many nerfs. I never saw a dice in game got so many nerfs. It's still very strong. Uh, and it's also one of the dice in game. For Kate mode, I mean, this is a PvP deck, uh, tier list, but still in Kate mode, you need Cowboy Dice for very, very high score. But you can do it without. But in PvP, it's also very strong. And it does not come in numbers, but with strength. So, anyway, that's with the PvP tier list. I'll make it smaller for you. Or you go to my website, chrisraingaming.com, so you can see it there as well. Anyway, that's it with the video. Thanks for watching, and bye.